So this is a thing. 74,000 people are going to be watching it with us. Indeed. I've hid uh, the chat. No, it just so. went up to 81,000. Oh, okay. So I, I've hid the chat, so I'm not seeing the massive, yeah. like, shit posting going on. Yeah. Got two minutes to go. I have to finish a taco. Um, as I've said a million times before, if I had to hope for anything, it's Banjo. I am not getting my hopes up, but you never know. Um... We're I know they're sure. obviously going to show Cloud. Um, <laughs> there's, there's, I haven't checked the boards in the past couple days because I've Please. heard that uh, they were basically patching the game yesterday to prepare it for the update today for at least Cloud. And um, so data miners would find what other characters are being added if they're all being released at once. Um, so I've tried to avoid all that. But... Uh, the general idea <clears throat> is most people are expecting three. Cloud plus two others. Um, if I'm going with safe and boring answers, one of them will probably be Wolf, which I don't really care about, but I'd be fine with them coming back, whatever. And for newcomers, I'm still thinking K. Rule and Toad are the most likely, but they could throw a curveball. Um, I have no predictions other than, like, I want Impa and that's it. <laughs> I'm fairly boring. As far as third parties go, a lot of people are thinking Minecraft Steve. Um, a lot of random support for Shovel Knight and Shantae. I don't care about either of those, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Yep. I don't think it's going to be Banjo. Here we go. <clears throat> Final video presentation. Na 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 na. Oh god. It's gonna be. Oh boy. You think they're gonna show off the characters before talking about Club? This way. Fire Emblem shit again? Is that what this is? Looks like Fire Emblem. Nisa. He's my brother. No, he's my goodness. The boobs on the lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's like bursting. Do, do we need a sixth? Yes. Fire it's Emblem. Fire Emblem. People love it. I'm so sorry, everyone. I feel like I have no choice. Is but it Tom? I don't know anybody from Fire Emblem, so I'm like, eh. Okay. Join Smash! Who, who is it? I don't know. Corin. Corin? Corin. Okay. Fire Emblem. Corin. Oh, my yeah. quality. Brother. Up your bit rate, Let's Nintendo. <laughs> This is probably the least interesting thing I could have expected. I'm sorry. That's why I didn't like. I, like it's I'm yeah. It's sorry. That's why I didn't have any like. Cause I don't want to get my hopes up because I know it's not gonna be. God, people are gonna be is he so barefoot? pissed. Why is he barefoot? Chainsaw sword. What the fuck? That's kind of cool looking. But yeah, fighter with a sword. Yeah, there's there's a lot of swords. And he turns into Arceus, I see. Okay. God, quality. Nintendo, stop it. I expect they'll put the trailers on higher quality. All the Fire Emblem characters. Yeah, there, there's a few of them. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I wonder if he was a ballot winner. If that's even a thing. I don't even think his game is out yet. Oh. Because it's the new one. I don't think that thing's released. Oh, and it's like Robin. There's two of them. Okay. Wait. Is there 16 skins then? Because that looked like eight females. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Not that we can tell. With the, can I get you some more pixels there? <laughs> Random Pac-Man. <clears throat> All right, Corinne then. Mm-hmm. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora an Limited, name. the director of Super Smash Brothers. Thank Hello. you for waiting. This will be the last video presentation of Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo it's 3DS soundboard. and Wii U. I hope you'll enjoy this finale. Chooses to smash. The main so character she's an elf? Fire Emblem Fates, Corin, will be joining the fight. Corin, not Corin, Corin. As we developed new fighters, we thought to include someone from this upcoming game. 
That's how we decided to begin production on corn. It's an advertisement, basically. Yeah. Which I guess it's is basically the entirety of Smash. The but... title launched in Japan. I mean, that's how Roy got out. Yeah. Just a couple months away from launching. Speaking of which, I could have done with this so and not get a Roy. To become but, familiar yeah. with Corrin like before you play the game. I don't mind Roy either. I just feel like eight is, or Wii six Fit characters is a bit much. Yeah, it's you a can lot. To play as a male or female version of She's kind of cool Both looking though. Perform I mean... exactly the same. So it's all up to personal it's, preference. It's really nice that you know she's not scantily clad hand. either, you know. It's the final form of the weapon Yato, called <clears throat> Omega Yato. However, that is not his primary way of fighting. I like the bare feet. It's interesting. Corin has the blood of a dragon in his veins, and this lets him transform. This ability so allows can you play him as to a male or female in the game? No other I can. assume so. Hmm. He's capable of changing how entirely into a dragon, but some of his moves transform only some parts of his body. His side smash attack has tremendous reach. I see. The tip of this attack is so especially can... powerful, so consider how far you are from your opponent when you use it. What? Nothing. When using back air attacks, <laughs> Corrin <God> briefly <laughs> spouts People make so many stupid <clears throat> Marth appear, tips jokes, like... I'm sorry! It said... Recovery. Just, I don't know, like... After activating a dragon attack, his head changes in appearance. Corrin's standard special can be charged up by pressing and holding the B button, the Dragon Fang Shot. If you land it, your opponent will be paralyzed for a bit. After firing, the transformed hand can also bite a nearby opponent. This follow-up attack can also be charged weird by holding the It is a bit strange. This combo deals a lot of damage and can really launch... I will a admit the character looks fairly Lauren's cool. Side special is a if it was another really boring swordsman, I'd probably not go for it. I kind of like the armor. Has, uh, yeah, I, I really like that armor. It's really nice just looking. a simple thrust. If you can stick your weapon in the ground successfully, you can remain hanging where you are. You can even and for the record, I'm not necessarily calling Cloud a boring swordsman. I know he does have gimmicks, but as with every character, yeah. you can use a front kick, back kick, jump, or cancel. Seems fairly Pin involved. your opponent, then decide what to do based on the situation. The up special puts Corn's wings to work. Dragon ascent. At full wingspan, I mean, changing Korn into a dragon a is kind of cool. Range. Yeah. You can control the angle for a wider attack, too. Use it wisely. Corrin's down special attack is Counter Surge. It's a counter move familiar to fans of the Fire Emblem fighters. One big difference is a Fire Emblem so hot a dragon right now. transformation. <coughs> Look carefully, and you can see that the opponent's attack doesn't reach you. Sakurai Bias. Other differences <laughs> include being able to launch opponents up and we have more and attack stuff. left and right equally. Um, I think Final Fire Emblem is his favorite is series. He hasn't been involved in the making in of it, though. Several nearby opponents with a whirl of water and then finish them off all at once. I am not disappointed in the Fire Emblem game. It's just not, like, an oh-my-god moment, you know, for me. No so I, I'm sure for some people fighter. it is, so I'm not going to hate on it at all. It, I, I kind of think it looks yes, cool. Yes, if you purchase Corrin for the Wii U version, you can get two additional music tracks for free. Oh, boy. The first one is the Fire Emblem Fate <coughs> theme song, Lost in Thoughts All Alone. It includes vocals. Yes, we hear. is a remix <laughs> version of the same song we played in the new Challenger video earlier. It's in Japanese. Both songs will be added to the existing Fire Emblem stages, so you can adjust... There's the, the one that's in freaking Latin. My music. So why not? In the Nintendo 3DS version, as a special bonus, we added trophies of Ryoma and Xander from Fire Emblem Fates. They are the eldest brothers of the Hoshido and Nor kingdoms, respectively. Korin's new Gasp. challenger illustration was created by Yusuke Kozaki, who is taking care of character designs for Fire Emblem Fates. That's cool. This is his second challenger illustration. His first was for Robin. Please nice. check it out on the official website. I love the artwork. The various types of artwork they have for this game. Yeah, those are always That's cool. really, really cool that We're they targeting did that. a February 2016 <clears throat> release for Korin. Oh, so they're not releasing today. Okay. We will announce the Cloud exact date still later is. on the official website. Mm -hmm. 
From the Final Fantasy series, Cloud Strife will soon join the battle. You're gonna say the Adding this why? character seemed all but impossible, but we made it happen. <clears throat> we have a lot of requests for Final Fantasy characters to join Smash Bros. His logo is just half of them, Cloud has been requested. Isn't there some other kind of icon? Cloud think. will be available to download as a Super Smash Bros. fighter soon. I have some information soon. to share about him as well. As usual, Cloud deftly handles a buster sword as big as his body, but we've weaved in some unique moves and elements too. His side smash will unleash a high-speed three-hit chain attack. Watch his sword move at lightning speed. The side effect that he plays when he hits is inspired by the original game. And the two types of costumes include the original from Final Fantasy VII and one from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I like his big cloak in that movie. The Advent Children costume has a version with the sleeve covering the geostigma on his left arm and a version without. Such detail. Such detail. <laughs> I love this guy's a unique feature to this fighter is his limit This song gauge. has lyrics. <laughs> a limit gauge will fill up as you receive damage or attack opponents. Is that like it's similar to Little Max KO gauge. Uh, it's not a final it smash. Manageable. It's just a thing he has. Oh, like uh, However, like you can Little charge Max. up the limit gauge with Cloud's <clears throat> down special attack while checking in on this meter. When the gauge is maxed out, his limit break will be activated. This will surround Cloud in a blue aura, slightly increasing his stats. And for one use only, you might say each of his special attacks will be replaced I with see. limit break <laughs> versions. Cloud's standard special <coughs> is Blade Beam. This is a wave bullet that moves along the ground and it has a wide attack range. You can use it in the air as well, but it's more powerful on the ground. The limit break version of this special attack leads to a combo hit and a stronger launch. His side special is Cross Slash. It's Cloud's specialized sword move. By pressing the button three times when hitting an opponent, you can complete the Japanese word Kyo. It has high attack power, but if the opponent uses their shield, it will create an opening What's for them to attack just before you finish the combo. Be careful. In addition Be to the damage, the Limit Break version has more launch power. <coughs> yup, special is Climb Hazard. <laughs> this is Charizard. <laughs> Sub special is Charizard. <laughs> Just Charizard <laughs> roars <laughs> out of him. Strike at high speed. When recovering, is this down really sure going to be a counter? A I bet it time. is. The limit break version. Oh wait, no, they already said what it is. It's the charging. The extra limit height break. is especially useful when recovering, rather than attacking. Sometimes you'll want to save the limit break for later, but that was the limit break you can version. actually oh. use it. Often you end up having no choice but to use limit break to recover. The down special is Limit Charge. With this move, you can manually charge the limit gauge. However, Seems when the limit gauge the is limit fully gauge charged, the down special becomes a completely different <coughs> move called Finishing Touch. <coughs> this move only causes 1% damage, but its launch power is extremely Goodness. strong. Fighters who've accumulated a certain amount of damage better watch out. Jeez. And of course, his final smash is Omni Slash. Perform a special combo attack on the opponent, <coughs> then crush them completely ninja. with this move. Cloud mm, had yeah, pretty much. Move. Am I right? I don't recognize that term anything, so I'm not sure. Here's the new stage, Midgar. It's nice. It's a location you'll recognize from early on in Final Fantasy VII. Both the Mako Reactor and the Shinra building can be seen here. It definitely has that cyberpunk feel. Here, summon materia will appear, and the fighter who acquires it will be able to use summons. <laughs> Most of these summoned monsters will do something that changes the terrain, rather than directly it? attacking players. <coughs> Ifrit. Ifrit creates an inferno that moves the terrain itself. Whoa. When you touch the fire, you will be damaged. Stay alert and use strategic elements of the stage to your advantage. Think of the trailer. Ramu. There's like five of these things. Ramu I like the very involved stage. By attacking mm. with lightning, you which means nobody will ever be able to play. That are charged with electricity. Yeah, there's always the Omega version. Yeah. I like Only the fighter who summoned him will remain. I don't mind him. 
They have a time and a place. Odin. <coughs> Odin can cut the stage in half with a single slice. You can avoid this attack, but if you watch don't, out for the art to be instantly KO'd. Interesting. The split in the stage is a good place to perform a meteor smash. Make sure you Ouch. don't get caught in the middle when the stage comes back together. Confirmed cloud murders kids. Leviathan. <laughs> Leviathan floods the stage with water, which flows from right to left. The difference between Midgar and other stages with rapid currents is that if you're swept away by water, the fighter who summons Leviathan will get points. Bahamut Zero. From high above, Bahamut Zero fires so many wings. Attack. Do you need that many it's wings? Would that even work? Attack, <laughs> and the flare will continue for a while. Like. So the fighter who summoned him should try to force opponents into the blast. Whoever collected the summon materia will get a point for any fighters launched to their doom by summons. Try to get as much summon materia as you can. We created Cloud and the Midgar stage for the Nintendo 3 I'm almost more interested in the stage well. than the character. Yeah. Course, you can summon in that the stage version really too. Nice. Cloud's new challenger artwork was created by Tetsuya Nomura himself. I really appreciate that Mr. Nomura, who did that the original Kong design, face. also <laughs> created the illustrations. That's the full poster. It's really rare to see Nintendo characters in this style, and it's groundbreaking that a fight between Link and Cloud has been officially drawn. Cloud will become available for purchase within hours of this presentation. Once distribution has begun, you may experience some wait times due to high server demand. Please bear with us. The price for Cloud and the Midgar stage is shown here. I hope you'll enjoy playing as Cloud, who miraculously joined the fight from Final Fantasy. No explanation on how, though. At the same time as Cloud, <laughs> you will just release asked. a chocobo hat for Mii Fighters. So you cute! To dress up your Mii Fighter. Chocobos are and novel. thanks to our relationship with Square Enix, we will release another Mii Fighter He is costume. getting younger, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh god, really? What? Interesting. Gino? That's kind of cool, I suppose. RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, we're adding a I guess Gino that means he's not going to be a fighter then. Yeah, probably the not. Gun, Gino shoots from a gun on his arm, so it's a natural fit. Not because of the com the Since costume specifically, but I just I never really thought Gino had much final of a chance. Fighter costumes. I like that they're listening to people, though, because he's always been a high, highly requested character. Mm -hmm. Yep, we just saw that one. Available later today. What are those little things on the ground? Hmm? Little curly Q thingies. I don't know. Chocobo hat. Hat. <laughs> Bionic armor. For the Yay, brawlers. stuff that's not based off anything. Yay. What the f- And whatever that title is. Oh, it's this. Okay. <laughs> Takamaru. Ashili. It's a good idea to have these costumes. It's like putting in a ton more characters without the extra work, I guess. Mm, to an extent. Yeah. God. Thanks for that song. Oh God, that looks so gay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's terrifying. No, Lord. no, that's terrifying looking. Well, should not have that base. Can't say I'm ever particularly interested by these co costumes because they're like yeah almost a dollar each. <clears throat> yeah, I guess if you really like the character, then yeah. they'd be good. But God, the knuckles one is so bad. Yeah, like the hat itself is kind of like. Eh. I'd want a By full the way, me fighters we showed in the past sometimes look like they have similar faces to the original characters in the intro videos and screenshots. What? On the official website, we have QR code patterns for some of these characters. Oh, okay. If you download the Mii characters through these, you can quickly create pretty solid look-alike fighters. So please use them if you're interested. <coughs> That's nice that they do that. Don't 
It's been almost one year since we started creating additional downloadable fighters. However, this is finally the climax. Here's our last fighter announcement trailer. What is oh it boy. going to be? Please take a look at the final new challenger in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. <laughs> Cat Mario. It's going to be Cat Peach Mario or something. Cat Peach Mario. What is it? Okay, let's see. What is it? Something from... Don't get careless, Pit. A challenger approaches. Huh? Oh, another angel. Must have missed one. Medusa? Bayonetta? Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, man! <laughs> Out of nowhere, Bayonetta! <laughs> well, then. Oh, that's cool! Oh man, you can't complain about Samus now. <laughs> does she get naked? <laughs> I, I really doubt she does. This is one that's been mentioned frequently, but everybody oh, just cool. ruled it out. Well, yeah, it's from an M game, so yeah. I like it when you play hard to get. It's so inappropriate. <laughs> Oh, wait, well, okay, so she doesn't get naked, but she, like, bares her legs a bit, apparently. Yeah. Well, she can't get quite well, yeah. all the way naked, obviously. But still, holy moly. <laughs> Did not expect that at all. It's witch time. Witches can control time itself. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady... I just want her hair. I love her hair. What an odd choice. <laughs> I'm glad that the, it, it's something like this, though, because as soon as they showed Pitts, I'm like, really? Yeah, I'm just gonna I do thought another. It was another uh, I'm like, well, but this would be kind of cool. Oh! Like, <laughs> nope! Right the fuck out of nowhere! <laughs> God, what's oh God, it gonna be? That's she can also summon huge demons. Enough talk, goddess. Don't mess with a witch. That butt. <laughs> just, I was just gonna say it. That butt <laughs> is ginormous. <laughs> the umber witch who hunts angels, Bayonetta. She's finally. So this is the last one ever. Guess so. We've been asking for your opinion on the Super Smash Brothers fighter she won ballot, the ballot, and Bayonetta was the number one choice in Europe. In North America, huh. she was among the top five. So they went with Europe. This ranking includes okay. even fighters from <laughs> Weird. games in the series. Among the negotiable and realizable characters, Bayonetta was the overall number one choice worldwide. Ah, average. Realizable in Super Smash characters. Brothers, Bayonetta is a fighter with many characteristics based on the <clears> original <throat> games. The more you learn to control her, the more you can feel that she moves like the character in the Push original Push up the glasses game. and get the shine. Do it. Oh, damn it. First of all, she is a combo fighter. And not just weak attacks. Even her strong side attacks, front air attacks, and so on can land multiple hits. However, her combos are a bit slow to start. This is also similar to the original games. Each special move can strike multiple times, so you should be able to perform some very elegant aerial combo attacks. Bayonetta style. After an attack, press and hold the button to continue attacking with her guns. This is yeah, I'm okay with her having high heels because she has it in the game. Moves. So like, you can fire even it in makes sense for her to attacks. have them. Well, <coughs> Zero Suit Samus has them, too. They're just... Well, she shouldn't have them, though. No, she shouldn't, <laughs> but... <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that's... I'm okay with Bayonetta having it, because it makes sense for her. One on each of her Samus, it doesn't really. So she can shoot whether she's... <laughs> They're so ridiculous. <laughs> it's possible to inflict additional damage to opponents at a distance, or steal points by hitting a fighter who's about to be knocked off the stage. The guns from Bayonetta 2 are called Love is Blue, and the guns from the original Bayonetta are called Scarborough Fair. All okay. four guns in each set have different names. 
Here's her wicked weaves. For this attack, <coughs> she uses her hair as a conduit to summon <coughs> the limbs of the infernal demon, Madama Butterfly. It's her so retarded sounding. Yeah. Like, even knowing that this is what the game is like, it's when just like, what the, the hell? Mm -hmm. stage, her down smash attack is massively wow. effective. Yeah, it looked a little bit cheap. This is She's so cheesecake in that pose. Which time? It reacts to the opponent's move in a flash and slows down time. Cool. This is her down special attack, and it's activated like a counter attack. While your opponent is moving slowly, strike back. We can't make the entire game slow down every time she uses witch time, so instead, it only slows down the opponent you're countering. That's fair. The length of slowdown time is determined by <coughs> several factors. The higher the opponent's accumulated damage, the longer the effect. But if you use it repeatedly, its effect will be shorter. Hmm. When witch time is triggered late, Bat Within will be activated instead, reducing damage dealt by your opponent. Bat Within protects Bayonetta even when her dodge move is about to fail. Many of her signature visual effects appear as well, adding a bit of flashiness to brawls. When she lands, butterflies appear. When she's damaged, roses fall. And aerial jumps show off her butterfly wings. During jumps and gunshots, unique magic circle effects turn up too. And in the Wii U version, Bayonetta's shadow is in the shape of Madama Butterfly. Let's have fun with the taunts. Also, there's an extremely long taunt. You can cancel it in the middle too, so you can dance if you want to. <laughs> Bayonetta well, has two dancing costumes. parties. There's the blue costume from Bayonetta 2, featuring her shorter hair, and the A Witch with No Memories costume from the original Bayonetta. There's also a color variation inspired by Jean. Jean? Looks like that's Jean. That's how that's pronounced. It looks like Jean. Climax. She can shoot with her hands or her feet. The guns always shoot slightly upward, but you can fire continuously. Also, if you press and hold the button, this attack will charge up. Confirmed ban out of kills, kids. Her side special is Heel Slide. By holding the button, you can add a kick at the end. This way, you can make a combo as well. However, if you use it in the air, her side special is Afterburner Kick instead. This is the first time ever that the name of the move changes depending on where you use it. If you hit okay. your opponent in the Does air with Afterburner no, Kick... No, it really doesn't <laughs> because there's another one. not also, much of a place you that you ever see that in the game. So pressing mm -hmm. down, then you can angle it diagonally downward. Let's just say, if you often use Ryu's traditional Hadouken command, it should be easy to do. This can also be used as a starting point of a combo. Her up special is called Witch Twist. This special attack takes you skyward, but you can move immediately after you've activated it, and you can use it once again mid-jump. Mm. If you keep holding the button, you can shoot too. Try holding the button to rack up more damage. When recovering, use Witch Twist, then jump, and which twist again on top of that. You can even add in airborne combos and an afterburner kick after using which twist too. However, then you the can be really fucking add, annoying. <laughs> the opening you'll leave when you finally land, so be careful. Fierce combos like this are more than possible. If you're on the receiving end, try to fend them off. Gee, that's a lot you can do. The final smash is Infernal Climax. The way this move activates is also very unique. First, Witch Time goes into effect and the entire screen slows down. The Climax gauge will be displayed, which means it's time to damage opponents to fill up the gauge. When the Climax gauge is full, you'll summon the Infernal Demon, Gamora, who will lunge for any opponents you attack while maxing out the gauge. Once Gamora has finished chewing, if the opponent's accumulated damage is over 100%, they'll be finished immediately, so it works like a danger zone. You can also throw in multiple opponents at once, so please try it out.
There's also a Bayonetta stage, Umbra Clock Tower. We've recreated this extremely memorable and iconic opening scene from the original Bayonetta, the Falling Clock Tower. Complete with flying centipede. Basically, it's a flat platform, but moving platforms run right next to it just to mix things up. If you want to win, utilize the terrain well. In the middle of a match, once you enter the alternate world, Purgatorio, you'll see an army of angels, and once you pass it, you won't see them anymore. Angels like Inspired and Fortitudo have guest appearances as well. That's really creepy looking. For the Wii U version, we picked some memorable songs from both the original and Bayonetta 2. There are also songs arranged specifically for Super Smash Brothers. We hope you enjoy them. I'd be okay with getting hurt. We created well, I figured I was going to get all the characters. The only things I'm not as well. getting are just the, like, cast stages. If you purchase and stages. download Bayonetta in Super Smash Bros., <clears throat> you'll get them all. Bayonetta's new challenger illustration was created by Bayonetta development team member Eiji Funahashi. It's an impressive work showcasing the fight between light and dark. Oh, it's showcasing so all right. Soak in all the details I'm sorry. On the official website. <laughs> Bayonetta's inclusion is another dream come true type of situation. We'll need a little more time, so please be patient until she is released. Just like Corin, we're targeting a February 2016 release for Bayonetta and the Umbra Clock Tower stage. Once it's finalized, we will announce the exact release date on the official website. And now we have some news about Amiibo. Amiibo of Ryu, Roy, and Rob with his Famicom colors will be released on March 18th, 2016. Please stay tuned for retailer and Gotta get Famicom Rob, it's important. And we can also confirm Amiibo production for the three Yay. fighters that we covered today. Cloud, Corin, and Bayonetta. Oh, I want Bayonetta, Bayonetta and Cloud, Amiibo definitely. Each of them Amiibo figures. God, that Their Bayonetta pose, if that's the one they're going with on the Amiibo. Yeah. With further information. Box will be huge. I assume they can't do the hair, so... Curious how they the handle that. Announced fighters, Corin, Cloud, and Bayonetta have specific characteristics and skills. Their battle styles are all unique as well, so we hope. I wonder if she'll have her costume alts and fighting against them. Oh wait, she won't. Okay. What do you mean? The uh, <clears throat> the link in Peach costume oh. of the original game. We've continued that would be to develop <laughs> new fighters and stages, and it's created a huge volume of content. The total number of fighters is 58. Counting the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U versions together, the total number of stages is 84. And counting the male and female versions together, the total number of Mii Fighter costumes is God. 99. Really? There are 97 hats. The total number of trophies is 743 for Wii U and 707 for Nintendo 3DS. The total number of music tracks, such as stage music, is 507 such for as Jingles stage and the music. Light Aside. I believe these are record high numbers for a competitive action game. In terms of sales, it's certainly best to create downloadable content while developing the original game, then release them close to the game's launch. But for this specific title, we created downloadable content from scratch after finishing the original game's development. Each piece of content requires really cool. intense work. Without your support, we couldn't have made it. Thank you so much. In Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, a variety of fighters have appeared, making possible certain matchups we never would have imagined. We hope all of these characters will continue to make great appearances in many titles to come. I greatly appreciate the developers of each game feature and the fans. And with that, I thank you. Well, I'm not quite sure what to say. Hmm. It's kind of bittersweet. It's like, oh, you know, thank yeah, God it's I mean, finally over, but at the it, same time, it's like, oh. Yeah, it's like it had to end at some point. <laughs> I wasn't sure if uh, this one was going to have the ballot winner or not. Interesting, the Bayonetta one. So, I, I, I guess at this point, it's now asking. time for people to start randomly speculating about the next game. God, already? And, Jeez. Well, 
Yeah, pretty much. There's no confirmation of next game. No, though. there's not. <laughs> not at all. That won't stop people. Yeah, that's true. So, gonna have Ridley arguments again. Even though he's flat out said Ridley's not gonna get in. Ridley already got in. Thank you for watching. See ya. Indeed. Fight it out in the comments. No. What? No. Just... I don't know. Yeah. I, I was okay with that. Yeah, that was, that was a good, good ending for it, so I have no other thoughts on it. Beer. Beer.